Right now it's 520, October 23rd, 2019, uh, and it is exactly 60 days before we fly out to uh, Los Angeles for our winter break. I am on my third day of fasting, and I'm gonna challenge myself for the next 60 days. Uh, first, I'm gonna start out with a two mile run every day. So let's do that first. Alright guys, so that was two miles. The first mile was flat in Waikiki. The second mile was uphill, going all the way up to uh, the base of Diamond Head. It hurts. Uh, I do have uh, an ankle issue from last year when I broke it. It's still swelling up right now. And on the same side, I have a hot spot, which uh, really, really hurts. The next task is gonna be to use all these machines right here on the park. All right, so this is the first machine, and it's gonna be the military press. All right, so this next one is the heavy leg press. All right, for some reason, the camera didn't record when I started to do the uh, pull-ups and the chin-ups, which I did not do any of them. And uh, also the dips. I was able to do three dips, uh, which is pretty sad because I used to be able to do more. Now I'm gonna try the leg lifts or knee lifts, but this one's kind of difficult because my arms seem too long. All right, I can't get comfortable, so I'm gonna cut those off my uh, like my list. All right, so this next machine is missing, so I'm just gonna do some push-ups, as many as I can. I'm worn out already, so I don't think it's gonna be many. But I'll do what I can. I lost count, but I think that's 12. All right, so it's time to go back. But remember, I said that second mile was uphill. So that means now I gotta go downhill, which I do not wanna do running because my ankle for sure is gonna give out somewhere. So this first mile going back, I'm just gonna do a speed walk down. Uh, let my ankle rest a little bit. And then, if it's not too bad at the end of this mile, then I want to do some sprints. It's going to be 10 seconds each time, and we'll see how many of those I can do. There's diamond head, by the way. A lot of people hike it in the morning so they can see sunrise. It's about a 20 minute hike once you're inside. So the reason I named this video Going For Broke is kind of pay homage to the unit that I'm with right now. It is the highest decorated unit in US history. They got more Medal of Honors than any other unit. And their motto is Go For Broke. They got a movie about it, you can research it, it's really interesting. They're pretty high speed. I mean, I avoided going to this unit for so long because I knew they were high speed. I knew uh, they, uh, they did a lot of things. I was getting ready to retire. I was just waiting to hit my 20 and for sure I was going to be out and last week I re-enlisted indefinitely uh, just because I'm still on the fence I wasn't ready to retire and so because I'm uh, 39 and still not broke I didn't want to go out that way I wanted to go out on my own terms and I thought that the best way I can do that is to get myself back in shape uh, I give it all I got for maybe one or two more years and then see what happens after that. I do feel like it's gonna be a challenge. I do feel like there's gonna be days that are more painful than others, harder than others. But regardless of all that, I'm committed to wake up every day and do it to the best of my abilities. All right, so that's the first mile. This is gonna be the last mile and I'm gonna sprint. So the idea is to sprint for 10 seconds and then take a break for about a minute and then sprint for 10 seconds take a minute break until I get home. It's gonna be very painful. I gotta figure out what's going on with my foot. Uh, here we go. Ha. All right guys, so that's all the tasks that I need to do every single day for the next 60 days to be a success. It took me 12 minutes to complete that uh, one mile walk back downhill and then on the second mile I did 
eight sprints, eight 10 second sprints. The hot spot on my foot actually hurt less while I was sprinting than when I was walking. I just weighed myself at 245.2. And now remember, this is the start of my third day fasting. So I was 252 pounds yesterday. I am drinking a lot of water. I am adding salt to the water that I drink. The only calories that I've really been taking are the uh, fish oils that I take as supplements. I am drinking iced coffee with heavy whipping cream. Today's energy was really low. Uh, motivation also was kind of down. I almost missed it. I almost didn't do it, but I decided to just do it. Just get up and go. And so I did, even though I didn't want to. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the case for most days, uh, but the goal is to get through that and just go hard. morning guys it's day two it's about 4 50 in the morning and i still don't want to do this but i gotta so yesterday i did a couple of things to try to alleviate some of the pain from my right foot i got a brace for my ankle uh, i shaved down a uh, corn that i got at the bottom i kept calling it a hot spot yesterday but it's actually corn basically dry skin under my foot so i had to shave that down a little bit i put a pad i got new shoes my knee kind of started hurting yesterday so i got a, a knee brace but it actually hurt more with the knee brace so i took that off my knee's good right now it uh, doesn't feel i don't feel what i was feeling yesterday uh, but yeah as far as motivation and uh energy it's just really low but i still gotta do this so uh here we go day two i want to walk so bad Whew. all right guys i'm not gonna lie that sucked both miles back but we'll see we'll cross that bridge when we get to it yeah. all right so it's day three i'm feeling better today i still don't want to do it i don't have the motivation but at least i've had a little bit more energy i broke my fast last night just because i felt all day yesterday i was low on energy and right now it does feel a little bit better but still Oh, I'm dragging. Alright guys, so I didn't complete the workout today because since I broke my fast last night, I had to go to the bathroom. All the bathrooms are closed because it's too early for the public bathrooms to be open. So I'm going to have to do that later. I have to walk back really slowly to make sure I didn't have any accidents.